may be a little confusion because in the King James it says the wages of sin is death. And yet in the Mirror Bible it says the rewards of the law is death. Well, how do you look that together? Well, first of all, understand the devil is not trying to get you to sin. He's just trying to get you to keep the law. Because if he can get you to keep the law, you will sin. Uh, you see, Romans chapter 7 says, For without the law, sin was dead. There is no sin without a law. There's no transgression of a speed limit if there's, first of all, not a law that gives you a limit, a speed limit. So without the law, there is no sin. Without the law, sin will have no opportunity. And what many people think, they think Satan's trying to get you to sin. And Satan's trying to tempt you to do this or to do that. No, no. All he's trying to get you to do is to keep the law. And he was just, you know, kind of not taking the Lord serious. And I walked over to him and I went, bam. I punched him in the chest as hard as I, I crumpled the kid. I just crumpled him. And I said, I leaned over and I said, Ben, when are you going to stop playing games with God? Well, I'm talking. Hey, 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 don't, don't, don't you lay your head back. I, I'm, I'm important. I'm somebody. Now, you might do your English teacher that way. But I'm not teaching English. I'm teaching eternal life here. I love you. You know I love you. Have I convinced you I love you? Uh, yeah. You better say, you better nod your head yes. All right. Come on. Put it right there. All right. You stay awake and you listen to me. You say, well, he may never come back. Well, he ain't here now. And where have you been? Mr. Underwood. And I noticed on the calendar I'm supposed to marry y'all. What makes you think I'd marry you? You're one of the sorriest church members I have. You're not worth 15 cents. And you want me to marry you to her? 
and you want to marry him and he don't even know where he belongs and you don't even know where you belong. Now, let me tell y'all everybody here how much I love these kids. Do you know I love you, sir? Stand up, big boy. Do you know I love you? All right. All right, give me a little love. I'm a real deal. Uh -huh. All right, I know you are, too, but you ain't been here. You can't get this in any other church in town. Now, y'all don't want me. All you got to do is tell me we won't have a church fight because I'll get my little Tony and we'll get in her little Buick Enclave. It's paid for, and we'll sell what we need to sell, and we'll go on down the road, and we'll find some little podunk church that don't know up from down, and I'll find me a dozen Joe's baskets who don't have a pot or a window and who will shout Jesus, and I'll give the rest of my life to them. Oh, Brandy, oh, Brandy's a sweet girl and she's got her children. Yes, y'all are good and y'all are fine, but your children will turn on you if you don't hold up the standard and the banner of God. And if they don't turn on you, they'll just, you'll just produce nice little whirlians. Are y'all keeping the camera on me back there in the little video room? Good. We're having trouble in the video room. There's no one finer than young Cox back there. And he comes down here and spends hours in that thing. But he has a little attitude adjustment that we're going to fix. Brother Cox, you listening? Because, Brother Cox, I can fix your adju attitude adjustment. Now, I don't care what your mama thinks and your daddy thinks. And I don't have a better friend than your mama. But, Mama, you get out of my way when I'm messing with that boy because I'm his preacher. I'm, I'm yours when I'm talking to you. But I'm his when I'm talking to him. And last I checked, he's a grown man. And that video room ain't going to be a youth hangout. We might as well just fix this thing. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Well, if you don't know what you're doing wrong, son, you don't care about what I want to do right. Because if you loved me and you submitted to me, you'd know what my heart is and my message is. And you wouldn't go about establishing your own kingdom in the video room. I really feel good now. Jeez.
this man just came and asked for the Holy Ghost to fill his whole church. All right, brother, are you ready? He's drunk as a badger. Go ahead. Let that Holy Ghost language come up out of you. Go ahead. Oh, I'm excited. If you want to laugh, this is your He's time. now supporting Run. Trump. Trump for president. <laughs> I'm 76, yes. You sound like you're 35. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your back is hurting now? Yeah, I had two previous surgeries, and I have a, a e more oh, problems on top of that. Which... Can, can you feel the pain now? Yes. Look for the pain right now. Yes. E yes. Is healing your body right now. Move that back around now. And tell me how it feel. Yeah, I feel the pain. It's all cracking bones noise. It's cracking bones. Can you feel any different at all right now? Not yet. Not yet. Well, listen, you know what I'm, I'm going to do? Pa uh, Pastor Jackson, I know you got your information. I'm going to send something special in the mail uh, to you that's going to help destroy that generational curse my off your life. And my arms folded all day long. I can't move. A and are they hurting right now? Y yes, it's hurting right now. All right, listen, God's getting ready to heal yeah. your body. It's healing your body right now. I want you to shake those arms right now and move those elbows right now. Because I'm shaking it. Head on a bokosha because who is healing you who right now? Did you feel that? No, I didn't. T tell me how you feel now. I, I still feel any back turn. But the pain is leaving out, right? Where you hurt? I got two bad knees and then in my My God, I feel good. You got what now? Two bad knees in my back. And yes. is it hurting now? Yes. You can feel the pain right now. Yes. You sure? Look for the pain now. Come on, somebody. Give God some praise with us here tonight. I just healed this woman. I just woke up. And how you feel, big girl? Blessed, red, blessed. I got no pain. You got what? No pain. No pain. What happened to your pain? Gone. Is gone. Somebody put those hands together. Look at that big girl. God has given me uh, to work with. And you start by paying your tithe. And you know what? God knows, y'all, when you give God his 10% and just keep on handing it to him, he triple you. And, I, and God done bless you with a house? I got a house, and God knows I'm ready to move out the house soon. I leave church today. I met a young lady, a stranger. She said, get a $10 to the church as soon as you walk in the door. That's how I hand you that 10 So you just got the house. I just got the house. I ain't moved the house. I ain't moved in the house. After you saw me on top. After I saw you on top. Oh, somebody ought to put those hands together. In your right leg. In your right leg. Yes, sir. And, and my left hip. Your right leg and your left hip. Yes, sir. How long you been hurting like this? Ever since 1987. Since 1987. Can y'all see that? Did I pull on your leg? Not one time. Oh, it grew out longer than the other leg. Watch that leg growing out now to catch up with that leg. I dare for you to look for the pain now. What? It's not there. What happened to the pain? It's gone. You've been hurting since 1987. That's right. And you're trying to tell the, the stand up here. 
Pick those legs up and down. And look for the pain now. It's not there. It's what? It's not. Come on, somebody, put those hands together. Ah, some Hello, Crystal. Hi. How can I pray for you? Yes. Um, I would like prayer because I'm 17 years old, and I've been living HIV positive ever since I was born. My God. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse this sickness in her body. And I command Crystal to be made whole. Ah! Cleanse the blood. And God, you get Crystal brand new blood. Do it right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Crystal. Yes. I just believe God just touched and healed your body and just worked a miracle for you. I want you to plan to live and not die. Yes, sir. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I, I want to. I pray for others that have been tested to be HIV positive and God healed. I've even prayed uh, and it's documented. I pray for people that have had full bloom AIDS and God has healed them and God has worked a miracle for them. And I believe God just done it for you. Ella, when do you want it to stop hurting? I want to stop nodding. Take a deep breath, Ella. Oh, my God, Ella, God's touching you right now. Tell me how you feel now, Ella. Oh, I feel all right at this moment. It goes and it comes, you know. I, I
This is a night of deliverance tonight. That's your state. That's a 